Hi everyone, I've got another product review video for you. Today I want to talk to you about the Bell Super DH helmet. So I'll see you in a bit. The Bell Super DH helmet. It is a convertible helmet. That means it's a full face helmet, but it can also turn into a half lid trail helmet by detaching the chin bar. As easy as that. So now it is just a normal trail half shell. When you open the box, the helmet comes with a second set of cheek pads. These aren't a spare set or a replacement set, they actually come in two different sizes, so you can customise how much the helmet presses in on your cheeks. The helmet also comes with a breakaway GoPro mount, which fits on top of the helmet, and it's designed to break away if you to have a crash, so it won't damage the helmet or the camera. The helmet has got the latest MIPS technology. Now MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. And what that means is you've got an outer helmet and an inner helmet, and the two components can move independently of each other. And on the Bell Super DH, it's what they call spherical MIPS, which means the, the MIPS technology can actually move in all directions. So hopefully you can see that on the camera, the inside of the helmet moves completely independently to the outside of the helmet. And that's designed to reduce the rotational forces on your head and your brain in the event of an accident. Another reason I chose the Super DH is because it's quite a good looking helmet. Some uh, convertible helmets can look a bit big and bulky when you're using them uh, in their half shell setting. Uh, this one doesn't however, in my opinion. It's also quite a comfortable helmet to wear. Uh, this green layer inside actually helps wick away some of your sweat and it's got this band which wraps around the back of your head which you can tighten and loosen depending on how tight you want the helmet to, start to fit. That's not unique to this helmet, but Bell seems to have got it really right uh, on this model. It's really, really comfortable. Like I said, I think this is quite a good looking helmet when it's in its normal half shell mode. And the catch is magnetic, which means it's really easy to take on and off, even with gloves on. Now I've been riding with this helmet for the past few months, so I feel I'm in a good position to talk about its pros and its cons. But before I discuss those, let's get out on the trail. So we're off to Kimber and as you can see I've got the helmet in the half shell configuration, I've got the chin bar attached to my hydration pack and I'm taking that with me. Why choose to buy a convertible helmet? Well I was actually in the market for buying a better trail helmet. I also wanted to buy a full face helmet ready for when we visit some bike parks later on in the year. That's when I discovered these convertible helmets which effectively give you two helmets in one. The recommended retail for the Bell Super DH is £299, however most websites have some sort of sale on, I actually paid £220 for mine. This is not a paid promotion, I actually purchased this helmet and it's the helmet that I use on every ride. So we're riding over to the Kimber Free Ride Park today and I'm going to turn the helmet from trail mode to full face when we get there. Craig wants me to film him, don't want to do that, it's all about me. <laughs> Rode all the way here with the chin bar off and we see how long it takes to get it off the backpack and on my helmet. Ready? Now. Bell make three convertible helmets. There's the Super 3R, the Super DH and the new Air. I opted for the Super DH because it's the only one in the range which is fully downhill rated. Now I'm not going to be entering any downhill races but if I'm spending £200 on a helmet I want it to have the best safety rating possible. Done. Full face mode. <laughs> now the helmet's in full face mode, let's get working on those jumps. We're riding with Mark as well today, who also has a Bell Super DH. You don't know me, but you fear me, see me walking through the crowd, love if only you could be this 
This is some footage using the breakaway GoPro mount attached to the top of the helmet. With all the money, now I'm king of this town. If you come near me with bad intentions, then I'm gonna take you down. By order of the Peaky Blinders. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Come touch him bar off for the ride home. Yes, we will come. That's your little next level for me, but oh, I'll bring you a little Christmas then. Full Christmas. Oh, you can see the day that you were eating. Back into trial mode. But I own all the towns. Go for a drink to drown your sorrows. This rounds on me as the garrison's man. The music we're listening to at the moment was written and performed by none other than friend of the channel, Jay Taylor of Taylor Made Music. Bring down the family, we'll get off scar free. So what are the downsides to owning this helmet? Well it can be a little bit warm to ride in thanks to the extra protection with it being downhill rated, it's got a few less vents than the other helmets in the range and it can be a bit fiddly to set the chin bar on and off, however with a bit of practice you soon get used to doing it. I also had a problem with one of the catches on the chin bar not lining up properly with the shell of the helmet but this was sorted out as a replacement and the replacement helmet functions absolutely fine. <laughs> so what's my verdict? If you're after a good quality trail helmet, but you also want to have the option of using a full face helmet from time to time, then this is a great option. It's got a few disadvantages, like it can be a bit fiddly to take the chin bar on and off uh, when you first get it, and it is a little bit warm uh, to ride in. However, the level of protection it offers you and the flexibility it offers you, I think this is a fantastic product and it's something I'm definitely gonna be sticking with. So, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please press the picture of the mountains down below to subscribe and make sure you click over there to check out some of our other videos. And we'll see you soon.